So we basically taught an animal to avoid a, an area of, of space and then waited a day and then injected into the hippocampus of the animal this drug, which is called ZIP for Zeta Inhibitory Peptide. We injected this drug ZIP and for the first time uh, anyone has ever shown, we're able to erase that memory. So is this, the, we have video of this, right? We have video, yep. Should we show it now, you think, or you want to hold it? Uh, sure, so let me just, give, uh, just explain what they're about to see. So what they're going to, the experiment was, it was a task created by Andre Fenton, uh, who is a colleague at Downstate now at NYU. And basically we put a rat into this carousel that's slowly rotating. It's around this, this diameter. And it slowly rotates. And the carousel is in a room right from, from you to you. And on the walls of the room are various objects, clocks and doors and things like that. So the animal is put onto this carousel and it's slowly rotating. And it's rotating into, when we're training the animal, a shock zone. So it's a little pizza wedge shaped sector. And so the animal learns to avoid that shock. So, looking down now with a camera, let's see the film. So, this is a naive animal, and we put the rat into the apparatus. That's a little LED light, that's just so we can see it. Now, the shock is not on. See, that's the gray zone, that little pizza wedge. That's where the shock will be in a few minutes. So, right now, we put a naive animal in, it's spending most of its time on the outside of the apparatus, maybe looking through the walls, which are clear plastic. Now we turn the shock on for 10 minutes, and we turn it, it off for 10 minutes, put it in its home cage. And after eight of these 10 minute episodes, the animal has learned to avoid the shock zone. So notice that the information that's on the floor of the apparatus is useless. It, the, at, the rat has to look out into the room, and that really engages the hippocampus. So now a day later, we put the rat back in, and we inject salt water, saline, as a control. And we're testing with the shock off. These injections are into the hippocampus, right? Yes, hippocampus on both sides. So you see the rat avoids. Shock is off, but it, it just avoided that area. Now we take another set of rats, trained them exactly the same way, waited a day, and injected zip. <laughs> no evidence of the memory be having been there. In fact, if you take a picture of the exactly the same rat, when it was in its naive state before it was trained, and after its memory had been erased, there's absolutely no difference in its behavior. So we can turn that off. So <coughs> is this scalable to humans in any way, or does this have clinical applications that we would care about? Uh, Yes. Could I erase <coughs> okay, my so wife's memory of various... <laughs> Never mind, carry on. <laughs> Well, right now, it would, it would have erased all information, we all think, information. In, in your wife's brain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I have a minute to think about that? <laughs> no, we didn't call it Stepford drug or anything like that. <laughs> but, um, so the goal eventually is to understand how this molecule is storing memory and understanding it in real detail so that we can harness the power of this ability to erase the memory.